Hey there, I am Sherry Samuels and this is your thought for the week. So we often conflate happiness and joy. We look at them as though they're one and the same, two interchangeable things, but it's my belief that they're actually kind of different. Now, I do believe that our happiness can feed into our joy, but happiness is often a feeling that is fleeting, that it comes and it goes, and sometimes it comes and goes really quickly. But joy is a part of us. It lives within us. It is a part of us being connected deeply to who we are as individuals. For instance, one thing that brings me joy on a hot summer day is an ice cream from Cold Stone. I won't tell you all that I get in it, but I love an ice cream from Cold Stone. What I love even more is sitting in my car and eating it by myself, taking that time to indulge in something that's just decadent and amazing for just a few minutes, being really connected to myself and recognizing that I wanted something and that I told myself, you know what, you deserve this treat, not only this treat of the ice cream, but this treat of the time, the time to yourself to really just savor this moment and to be in it and a part of you. It's really important for us to be in tune with what brings us joy, to be in tune with ourselves deeply, because when we are, then in those moments when we feel really lost, really alone, really overwhelmed or stressed, we can access those points of connection, those points of joy, and remember that on the other side of this, there are amazing things. There are amazing things for us, within us, on the other side of the things that feel really challenging and overwhelming. So I challenge you this week to really think about what are those things that bring you joy? What are those places that allow you to feel really deeply connected to yourself? Another thing for me is nature. So I love my walks in the morning. Taking that time for myself, that brings me joy. Even when it's early in the morning and I'm not feeling joyful, I'm not feeling excited about being out, I might rather be sleeping or still just laying around, but taking that time for myself in nature, it still brings me a joy that I can't explain because I feel really deeply connected to myself. So again, think about those things that make you feel deeply connected to yourself. What are they? Where are they? Everybody's joy spaces are different. What feels joyful for me may not feel joyful for you, and that's okay because it's all about being connected to your authentic self. I am Sherry Samuels, and this was your thought for the week. And guess what? If you want to know more or talk more about being connected to your place of joy, I have a talking circle on the 15th. It's called, Have You Seen My Joy? It's for women, and it's an opportunity for us to really dive deep into that conversation around joy. And actually, I'll be talking about that all month, but I want you to really think about what brings you joy and how you can be connected to that. And if I can help you, reach out to me. It's SherrySamuels.com.